Hey guys and welcome to this week's installment of Tuesdays with Lauri. My name is Lauri Laukkanen and I'm one of the editors at SLR Lounge. You can also find me on Facebook at Lauri Laukkanen Photography. In this week's installment of Tuesdays with Lauri, we're going to be taking a look at my World War II inspired photo series that I kicked off last week. We're going to take a look at the two first photographs and we're going to talk about the lighting behind them. With that said, let's get started. So here you guys can see our test subject for today, Olli, who has been kind enough to volunteer to model us during this video. So let's start out by talking about the first photograph in the series titled Double Agent. In this photograph we have quite a dramatic light and we, it's a more of an establishing character shot. So we weren't really that uh, focused on our model's face. It's more of a storytelling piece. In this image we have two lights coming from the back that highlight the edges of our subject. So you guys can see the lights here. I have them like pretty much geometric, geometrically from both sides and they highlight the edges of our subject, give, give a bit of backlight to the hat as well. Then uh, the next thing, the next light that we have is the main light, which is up here and it's a bit more far away and because it's a bit larger source and uh, it's more acting like a fill light in this image. So it's coming from the camera left uh, at a 45 degree angle pointed pretty much straight at our model. Uh, if you look at this photograph here now, uh, you guys can see the photograph is a bit dull. Uh, the light is very boring in a way. There's no drama there. It's just filling out all the areas. There's no shadows in this image. But we figured out that by lifting up the hand on the hat, we created a shadow uh, from the main light on our model's face. And this way we get the fill in the jacket and the hat, but the face itself uh, stays dark. And then these backlights here uh, kind of flare on the skin here and highlight the edges and highlight uh, the cheek line. And that way we got a lot, a lot of drama into this image. Then let's talk about the second photograph, which I titled Gentlemen, We Are at War. And uh, in this image, it's more of an action shot. It's kind of a cinematic shot where we have the model in action doing something. And uh, in this photograph, we wanted to go for a very dramatic look as well. We're going for a pretty cinematic light. And uh, for this photograph, what we did, we first started out by using our main light and setting it up. So in this photograph, the main light comes from the camera right. And again, it's pointed down at about 45 degree angle and we put it quite high. That way we add a bit of uh, harsher shadows on the face. But this time we weren't pointing the main light straight at our subject, but instead we feathered it away a bit by pointing it a bit past our subject, a bit here. This way, the hot spot, the center of the softbox, kind of uh, flares and gives a nice gradient fill on this side of the cheek, naturally, without adding another fill light on the subject. And then, the next thing that we had is another light from here, which we set up quite far in the back and a bit higher and we pointed it down on our subject's model, uh, shoulder. And this way we got just a tiny bit of fill light on the shoulder, which kind of stayed too dark in, uh, for my taste. So with this two light set up here, we got this dramatic light. But in this photograph, it's really important to keep in mind from which side of our model we are photographing from. In this shot, we shot the photograph from the shadow side of the face. This gives a really nice dramatic light as we get the nice light triangle, which is called the Rembrandt triangle on this side of the face, but everything else stays in the shadows. If you take a look at this photograph here, you guys can see that when we shoot from the light side uh, from, or the, from the side where the main light is coming from, the light is very boring, very dull. Everything is perfectly lit and there's no drama. So, uh, these are the decisions that you, as a photographer, need to keep in mind when photographing. If you want drama, try shooting from the shadow side of the face 
and that way you get a bit more uh, dramatic looks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and as always if you have any questions or requests for future episodes just leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you all out. Make sure to also read the written article as I've added the lighting diagrams and some technical information uh, into that article. If you enjoyed this week's video make sure to like, share, subscribe and see you again next Tuesday. Bye. Thank you.